We know there's going to be uh, twos and threes and fours. We know that. The votes are still being counted. Election night winners are likely a thing of the past in New York City. In this brave new world of absentee ballots and ranked choice voting, the counting takes time. And it's worth giving it the time it needs to get everything right. Here's how it'll play out. Currently, the Board of Elections is collecting all the vote scanners and getting all the in-person voting information into its computers. This Tuesday, June 29th, we'll get full in-person rankings information and the first ever citywide ranked choice voting calculation like this. The person with the least number of votes is eliminated. If your first choice candidate does not win and they're eliminated, we then count your second choice vote and add it to the candidate's total. This process continues until we have a winner. In the mayor's race, it should give us an idea if Eric Adams will hold on to his tentative lead. But if the count this Tuesday shows things are tight, July 6th becomes more important. By then, most of the 100,000 absentee ballots will be scanned into the system and included in a second ranked choice voting calculation. Historically, the vast majority of winners were the leaders in the first round, but not always. After July 6th, the only outstanding ballots at that point should be a handful of absentee ballots people will have a right to fix because of simple mistakes like a missing signature. So by the week of Monday, July 12th, we should have all the absentee ballots included and get final certified ranked choice voting results. We pressed Board of Elections Commissioner Miguelina Camillo about if the historically slow counting election authority could actually deliver on these dates. We do expect to be quicker with our counts. What takes time is the bipartisan process opening up absentee ballots. It's a public process. The campaigns and the public can be there. 